switching cameras, switching scenes, and even switching layouts are all part of the same tactic that we as producers and streamers use to draw your audience's attention back to the video. Gotta admire the technique. In order to do this, you would need to use equipment in some cases, software in other cases, but generally speaking, most browser-based studios don't have it built in. Excited to announce, EVMUX now has multi-camera streaming. So you can connect USB to your computer, multiple different cameras in multiple different ways, and EVMUX can add three of them to the studio that you can choose from, that you can set up hotkeys for, that you can add to different pro scenes for your live show. Kirk Nugent here for EVMUX, your live streaming sweet spot. And today, we're looking at multi-camera streaming with no additional equipment required. So here we are in the EV Mux studio and you can see my camera is down in the bottom left. I'm going to go ahead and add that to the screen right now. So we have that added to the screen right now and you'll notice that right here on the bottom, you see where it says add camera. Add camera, I'm zooming in on that, making sure to highlight that for you, but this is a new button that we have not had before. So this is the add camera option. I'm gonna click that and it's immediately going to pick up an additional camera. So I have my FaceTime camera here. I'm going to add that as camera number two. So camera number two is gonna be my FaceTime camera. We can add that to the system. You can see that right here at the bottom, that camera is added. I'm gonna add that to the screen and you'll see now I have two cameras added to the system. I'm gonna hit add camera again and I'm going to add my phone. I'm gonna add my phone and it's, we're gonna call that camera number three. We click add and you can see that that camera is now here. We can add that to the this, this system as well. We can change the layouts. Um, you can do picture in picture. You may have one of these cameras set up as a top down shot. Whichever camera you have in the top left, that first camera that you've added, that becomes your camera number one. So. Uh, let's say I put my phone camera up here, and if I do picture in picture, that phone camera becomes the main one. I can still change that layout by just dragging and dropping the different cameras onto the scene or onto the screen as you see me doing now. Uh, lastly, if I remove these other cameras so that this camera is full screen again, I can then simply click the spotlight button to feature the other camera as a full camera switch. So it just kind of pulls them in, pulls them out. And so you have a full camera switcher built into your web-based browser studio. This is, this is awesome. So that is some of the ways that you wanna use that. Last thing I wanna show here is that if you go up to hotkey settings, you'll see in the hotkeys the ability to assign hotkeys to different cameras. One, you can see two, three, four, and so on. So you can actually assign those hotkeys as well and be able to switch between them in your dynamic scene as you please. Simply click there to spotlight, click there to spotlight, and you have your camera set up just the way you want them. You might be an arts and crafts streamer looking to showcase what you're doing or teach people what you're doing by showcasing your hands using another camera. You might be a live shopping consultant and needing to showcase products and materials, different things that you are showcasing in your live show. Wow, that's amazing. This opens a world of opportunity for us as streamers using EV Mux. We're in, but also the ability to show a different angle just as a speaker or presenter. It changes the dynamic of your presentation, changes what your audience is seeing, and allows them to engage with you even further. Let me know in the comments how you intend to use this. Learn more EV Mux tips, tricks, and best practices from these videos.